Hello everybody. I've had a lot of folks ask me about my PVC four shot tumbler turner and how to make it. Been uh, promising a lot of folks I was going to get a video out there. It's taking a while to make this. I apologize. But let's uh, let's step through it. So to start with, I want to start out with the base. On the base there's a couple of components. First part of the base, we have a couple of 90 degree elbows. We have a couple of crosses. Okay. All the PVC is three quarter, by the way. So to make the base, I've got three sections of PVC. We're just going to put these together, real simple. So there's an elbow, section of PVC, cross, another section of PVC. Okay, we're going to do another cross. And there's a shorter section of PVC. I'll put that on the end. And there's another elbow. Okay, so that's that's what it looks like. Super simple. I would go through once you get everything set, and I would glue these joints. Uh, it's not mandatory. Uh, I just don't want to see things twist on you and have your cups bang together. Uh, if you don't decide to glue them, that's fine. Just make sure they're pressed uh, fit real tightly. Next on the base, we're going to add the legs. So for each leg, I've got a length of PVC. And there's a cap on the end. The cap is important. You need to have the caps. Okay. So we're going to go through, we're going to fit the caps, or sorry, fit the legs. Just like that. That's what it looks like. Super simple. Next thing we've got on the base, we're going to add the uprights. Okay. This is the left hand upright. You'll notice there's a hole drilled right here. I would wait to drill this hole. This is where your, your spit's going to go through your rod. I would wait to drill this probably until last, actually. Uh, you want to put a level on the rod and make sure everything's level and then drill your hole, uh, drill your hole. We'll talk about that. So let's add that on. Next, we're going to add the motor and the motor mount. So for the motor mount, I have flattened a piece of PVC. I've got another video on how to do that. You all can check that out. Drilled a couple of holes, mounted the motor, knife, the motor mount here. So if you've got a charbroil, this is what yours looks like. Everything will look familiar. If you don't, you might have to come up with something a little bit different. This is going to get mounted on the right hand side. Okay, motor goes this way. When the motor goes on, you're going to have this piece with your rotisserie. This goes into the motor, and the whole thing gets slid into the mount. So into the motor. And then slid into the mount like so. That will keep your rotisserie rod straight, level, and everything from backing out. So let me set this aside and we'll talk about the top hub that's going to be holding your cups. So we've got our pieces for the top hub. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the rod itself. The rotisserie rod I have going through across. To do that, I drilled a 5 16th hole in the middle of the cross. And then I took a piece of wood and put on top of the cross. I put the rod on the floor on a piece of wood, just like this would be. And then I banged on top of the cross. Once you get the cross on so far, you can take another piece of PVC and put it on top if you want to, and then bang on top of the PVC and push the cross down. Okay, I'd say that cross is down there. About nine centimeters to center. So nine or ten centimeters will do it. When you go to buy these crosses for the kit, if you go to the, the store to get a couple of these, if you're gonna buy, I think there's three in the kit total, go ahead and buy about five of these because you might crack one when you're trying to bang on on that rod. So the rest is really simple. So for the hub design, I've got some 90 degree street elbows here. I got that one there pretty good. There we go. 
That is a street elbow. One is thread, one is slip. Okay, one for each side. Short piece of PVC. I'm gonna slip those on just like that. This will be slid into our cross. And you want the nipples on those facing the long side of the rod. Okay, add one, two, so forth and so on. Just like that. There's our hub. Next, to hold the cups. I've got a couple of adapters here. One side is thread, one side is slip. Again, check the parts list. Link to the PVC. You can glue these if you want. I probably would. Keep those cups from slipping out. Okay. These will get threaded on to our hub, just like so. The idea when I designed the single barrel turner was to make this piece removable and interchangeable with the four shot turner. So you start out on the single barrel and apply your epoxy. Holding the handle, you unscrew it from the single barrel and then you can add it to the four shot. Just like so. And everything will be rotating. Okay, so let's put it all together and see what it looks like. Okay, so there's the lower portion. It's built up. I've got both mounts on. I've got the motor on. Our chrome piece is here in place, so we're ready for the top end. The rotisserie portion. What I like to do is slide the rod through the hole first. Speaking of the hole, I said we'd talk about that. When you go to put this thing together for the first time, you're going to drill that hole. Now's the time to drill that hole. What you want to do is slide your rotisserie rod inside your motor and then put a bubble level on the top and then level that out and mark on this pole over here, this rod over here, this piece of PVC, where that is level and then drill your hole. So do that last. It could depend on how far you've got it seated. Um, everything could be a little bit off depending. Okay. So we'll slide that in there first. We'll slide this into the motor. Just like that. Now we'll add our cup arms. There we go, just like so. Now I would recommend, again, once you're getting everything, once you get everything set to where you want it, make sure everything's straight. These are all lined up. These are still movable, right? Come back and apply some glue. Go ahead and glue these joints to keep these things from moving. Glue these joints on the cup holders to keep those from coming off. Obviously, don't glue these portions here because you want to be able to take those off. Let's turn it on, see what it looks like. As it turns, you'll see some arms aren't straight. It's okay to straighten those up. Just like that. And that, folks, is the four-shot tumbler turner.